Oh, I just gotta know in the ebb and the flow, there's some meaning to it all. And I just gotta see it's way beyond me. It's the great scale of life in between. This this is what happens. <laughs> Y'all see this flat fro hair? Gah. Pump it up. Pump it up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm really excited about the release of my new song called Ebb and Flow. I was just trying to articulate where I was mentally and where, honestly, I kind of am as a person. I tend to stay in a place of melancholy or what I call Solomon syndromes, just feeling like things are meaningless or that it's all vanity. Sometimes it's hard for me to live in the in-between of my life and in in-between moments. So being a musician and, and then also running, helping to run a retail store and even just balancing my, per my personal life, sometimes that gray area or the ebb and flow of my own life feels it's just a weird area for me. So when I started writing Ebb and Flow, I really just wanted it to reflect the tension and release that I know that's in my life, but also that I know it's in everybody else's life. You know, the fact of the matter is, you know, we just don't know all the, all the inner workings of our life. We don't know what certain encounters mean. And there is a beautiful life to be lived in the in-between moments, in the gray scale, in the gray areas. And so Ebb and Flow just seeks to to speak on that and just to illustrate that. And so I just got an he was like, just have a resolve to the note, because it sounded like just got an just got an o in the ebb and the flow. There's some meaning. Like he said that sometimes it just sound like I was out of breath or that right, it wasn't right, right. resolved. Mm -hmm. Um and then definitely I heard myself when I was out of breath. Process was very interesting for me. Um this was one of the first songs that we kind of co-wrote together and um, when we first started talking about the concept of the song it even our, our process and experience kind of reflected the theme of the song with ebb and flow and just kind of the whole gray area every um every uh track that i work on with somebody is always a different experience i'm trying to understand the goal of what we're trying to accomplish so there was a lot of like the thematic overlays within even just the process so i was like I'm trying to figure out understand like where we're going with the song what what the goal is what we're trying to accomplish here and uh, there was a lot of even just uncertainties with like even the vibe of the song so there's a lot of even risk and stuff that happened coming from my end of things so it was really cool just kind of navigating that from, from, from the ground up and just kind of seeing that just really come to fruition with the track and you know I'm, I'm super excited about it. I, I, I'm loving it and, and it, feels, it feels great. One thing that I really like that was captured just in, in the making of it is just the sentiment of melancholy. So once again it has that chill vibe of, of honestly it's something that I feel like you can just lay back and, and reminisce and think on. But also, one thing that I was grateful for, Johnny, he really kind of coached me in, in changing up my lyricism. Like, I already had the song prepared when I came in, but just even in the chorus of, maybe I'll just never know, maybe it's just ebb and flow. For me, it means so much because, again, it's an overlay and it, it paints that picture of tension and release and, and just kind of being spacey and airy. Um, but personally also, just kind of reflecting back to my mindset behind making this song, you know, in me choosing to live in the in-between, I realize that I have two um, spectrums that I tend to, to lean towards. I either over-spiritualize a moment where I have to hype myself up because I'm melancholy and I'm like, oh my gosh, this encounter or this person I met at the coffee shop, maybe it's for this grand scheme, you know, of, you know, I'm over spiritualizing it. Or I'm in another sector that, you know, where depression comes in or where it's just hard for me to really just motivate myself. So again, just maybe I'll just never know. Maybe it's just ebb and flow. The biggest thing of the song that I hope that gets drilled in is that, you know, it's life in itself is full of uncertainty. And it comes, it's, it's like a rhythmic flow. Sometimes, you know, you, you have a conversation with a loved one, everything is going well, and then you have an argument. It's a tension and it's a release, and it's an ebb and it's a flow. And so again, I think everything was just tastefully done. <laughs> You're one of those special clients. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? 
I don't know. I... How I would describe just my time working with Johnny, I, number one thing, time. safe. Yeah, the whole second verse one more time. I feel like Tony Braxton. God, I'm so empowered right now. I felt like everything was just safe. I could present things. Uh, there was a freedom. There was a natural flow. Like, I, I hope that maybe we can get like a little bit of him just vibing on the piano with this. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> my love is coming on. It's soon to go with his name or something. My lonely days are home. She and love is like a song. Oh, yeah. Sky. Flow. I know, that's not, he's not feeling, you're not feeling right now. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Never mind. But I just remember I brought the song into the studio and like literally he just immediately caught the vision. And for me, that means so much because I already carry so much in my head and just to literally, I don't know, create with somebody and they catch it and they don't try to take away from it, but what they do when they add it, he also, he surprised me with a guitar player that was featured on the, the track and it was everything, it was beautiful. Things that I didn't even like see or hear, he added that. And so it was really, I don't know, it was just, it felt divine. <laughs> Victoria is, is, my goodness, just <laughs> bubbly and driven. <laughs> like when I first, when I first met her, she was just like super, Super business. Just to be honest with you, she was like she has she has her head on straight. There's a lot of artists, you know, out there that just kind of live in the clouds a little bit. Um, but she knows exactly what she wants. She's very focused. She's very driven, and she has that. She definitely has that out there vibe, which you know is great for every artist. I'm like, yeah, pull from that. Pull from that. I would never think like that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's amazing. But um, she's she's very driven. She's very uh, passionate about her work. She cares about so much, even just about the community. And um, yeah, she's very very invested into uh, into what God has put inside of her. And I'm just excited to be able to partner with her and. Um, Look out, world. Like, she's coming it's for you. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's go to the, uh, so it's pretty much all recordings, right?